Hey YouTube, it's LDS Reliance. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to build a Peltier cooling unit or a thermoelectric cooling device as uh, they're sometimes called. Uh, this is something I've been working on for a little while doing some prototyping and some um, messing around with. Uh, this is one of the ones that I've already built. As you can see it's basically just uh, two pretty large um, CPU coolers um, sandwiching um, a Peltier device which is this thing um, and uh, basically one what happens is one side of this device gets hot one side gets cold so one of these coolers will blow air downward into these heat sinks and cool air will come out the other one hot air so what these are, are useful for is um, I've seen lots of people use them to build little small igloo cooler type things um, basically the hot side uh, outside of the cooler and uh, the cold side inside and keeps your uh, beverages cold um, I'm actually prototyping it for some cooling applications of, of a small cabinet kind of a refrigerator type thing um, anyway I'm going to show you how to do that what we need here for our materials you need a thermoelectric cooler uh, the, or Peltier device. These are about 10 to 12 bucks um, on Amazon, eBay. You can get them cheaper, but be, be really careful who you buy them from. Um, this is a 12 volt unit, um, which is pretty standard. And um, I'm going to be powering this with solar power. You can power it with batteries or whatever. Um, obviously, two CPU coolers. I chose this one because it is pretty cheap. Got it for $9.95 with free shipping. Um, it's actually pretty efficient, and um, and it's, uh, it it works as far as um, attaching um, because you're going to need to be able to sandwich these things together and put pressure to really snugly fit on there. So this met the, all those requirements. Um, and then what I used was just some um, one and a quarter inch um, screws, machine screws, and then. Um, these standoffs actually for uh, computer building off of for uh, motherboards. Uh, the reason I use these is because of their their low profile on the sides. If you can see that, um, not very well. Anyway, um, there's not a lot of extra space on the sides to because what's going to happen is these are going to sit up against the side here, and so you can't really have something big and fat. Um, the other option I had was. A washer but the washer sticks out a ways it's too thick so it wasn't gonna work anyway these standoffs work great so uh, in my next uh, installment uh, or next uh, phase I'll show you how to, to start putting this thing together okay the first thing we need to do I've unboxed one of these coolers and we need to place the Peltier device um, on the thermoelectric grease that's comes prepackaged on there um, I like to align my wires with the wires of the, the cooling devices just for easier wiring purposes and um, I leave the, the grease that comes on the cooling device or the, the CPU cooler on there. I've tested it both ways with um, like Arctic Silver or, or some other aftermarket grease and um, they work about the same so I just prefer to leave it on there. It's less messy and, and it's free because it already came on it. Okay, for the second step we're going to take the second cooler and place it on top. Again, we're lining up the wires um, all on the same side just for easier wiring purposes. Okay, for the next step I actually um, screwed up the order of this a little bit. Um, before you sandwich these together, um, we need to um, bore out these holes slightly. So what we need to do is get a drill bit that's just slightly bigger than these holes and what that's going to do it's going to give us a little bit of extra room when we're attaching uh, these screws. These screws fit through the hole but they don't allow any adjustment of the angle. You'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. So we need to bore uh, all eight of these these holes out slightly before we uh, put these together. Okay so now I have these holes bored out and everything's back aligned properly all the wires are on the one side we've got it sandwiched back down now you're going to take these uh, machine screws and put them through the holes and 
anyway. And then uh, we're going to take these standoffs and hold them underneath here while we screw these uh, together. You want to make sure that they're snug but don't over tighten. You, you do really want to kind of tighten down um, fairly hard but don't tighten them down too hard to where you're stripping the, the screws because then you're probably going to break the ceramic part of the Peltier unit. So put them down snug, put, do it like you're uh, tightening up a wheel on a car, kind of go around in a circle and keep tightening gradually. Don't just tighten this one down as hard as you can and then tighten that one and so forth or it won't align properly. Um, so I can't do that with uh, holding this camera so I'll go ahead and get to that point. Okay now here's the completed device. Um, you want to make sure that you've got it nice and um, centered in the middle. Make sure it's all in contact with the heat sinks. Um, again when you're picking out the fans um, these are obviously meant to cool um, processors and computers so um, you're gonna have to look a little bit at the pictures and make sure that it's something that you're gonna be able to attach some hardware to to kinda clamp them together because they're supposed to clamp down to a motherboard um, so I had to look around a little bit and find something conducive to that and then kinda make some modifications and get creative with the hardware um, if you guys want to copy what I've done these are Alpine 11 plus um, CPU fans they do pretty good I've built three of these now and tested them all everything's been great um, and uh, and then the Peltier unit this one actually is a 10 amp 12 volt unit so um, you want to kind of make sure that you've got enough power so these things are a little bit power hungry um, so make sure that you've got enough solar power or battery power to power one of these I've tested the 5 volt ones they don't get hot enough and cool enough for me so I'm stepping up to the 10 amp and uh, anyway uh, my next uh, post in, in this series I will show you kind of some applications for this I'll probably start out with a an igloo type cooler and uh, show you some test results so stay tuned for that thanks for watching guys